I've had this place under surveillance for three days. As a professional, you are not going to believe what you're about to see. Watch this. So there's Scott and Donna, husband and wife. There's the daughter, Aaliyah, 21 years old, is trying to save this place. But here's the kicker, Russell. They're driving a motorcycle in. In an enclosed space with food around with carbon monoxide. That engine is running. This guy's burning rubber inside the bar. Do not let people do stupid we're excited about it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. These owners always have a drink in their hands, don't they? But it's nobody else's. It's their own, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Lovers, team haters. <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? What can I get you today? Do you have a menu? I don't really have a great drink menu. All right. With the beer in her hand, too. Look at this pour. Every time she uses one of those cups, she's pouring like two to three ounces. That's almost a full bottle of alcohol. Scott, fireball. Wow, how uncomfortable she looks. A bar like this that's on an interstate has to be able to target multiple age groups. Think of the hundreds of guests that have had that experience and not come back here. Want to talk dirty to me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I can think of something else we'd go do. In the back somewhere. <laughs> I'll do the barbecue chicken, chicken here. Okay. Yeah. Turn me sideways. Bend me like a pretzel. <laughs> I feel like my vagina is a pretzel. <laughs> I can't stand her. She's rude. She's obnoxious. That bartender's name is Yum Yum. And she's drinking too. I gotta get a cigarette. Okay. I gotta get a cigarette. What the hell? Are you in a bad mood, Aaliyah? Oh, I will be now. And there's the owner, another shot. Another shot. Quite a bit of alcohol to push back in one swallow. It's not even 9 o'clock, Russell. Can we have shot, 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 shot? You can. Now I want to see in the kitchen. That's Tommy, the kitchen manager. And he's doing prep in the middle of dinner. And that's Matt, the line cook. How much longer are my barbecue chicken? Yeah, it'll be ready in just a minute. Look at this. They dunked it in barbecue sauce. So it's not real barbecue. It's barbecue flavored food. This sign on this building says badass barbecue. There is no barbecue here. Just doused in barbecue sauce. Let's see what she thinks of it. All right. Well, covered. <laughs> It was really just jar of sauce on your chicken. It was horrible. We ate dinner here last night, and I had to do the same thing. I had to sit it back and get something else. How's everything tasting? It's very heavily covered well, in barbecue. Okay. You want me to get you something else? What the hell? This is Black Canyon City. There's some people that are mad about their food. I'm going to buy them some shots of like, do it. She's mad about her food. Are you buying her another shot? What does she need? You're mad about your food, too? Yeah, I just didn't like it. Can we get her a shot too? Oh, I don't need one. This is really not a good way to fix our food, but let's have fun with it. Jesus. I really just wanted to sit down, maybe have a glass of water, and not really a hard liquor drink. Just a little too much for me to handle, especially since I told them I was driving. Hey! How loud that owner is. It's loud and obnoxious. Shot, shot, shot. Nice Very nice to meet you. Pleasure, good to meet you. You, you look as good as, in all of your pictures as you have as in all of your, Thank all you. your shows. You seem so intoxicated. I'm surprised you know even who the hell I am, to be honest with you. Uh, to be honest Is with this you. Is the way I, you run your business drunk like this? Um, I try not to. Well, you're not succeeding, are you? No. Because you blew today. it tonight. I did. In 2012, Jeff Simon filed away 31 years of his career in the family accounting practice to chase his dream of owning a bar. I wanted to step out, do something on my own, and this opportunity to buy this bar came available, so I bought it. Jeff poured $1.1 million into purchasing Bryant's Ice House, a biker bar with a bad reputation. I played the odds that if I kept it the name and cleaned it up, people would come. Despite Jeff's efforts to reinvigorate the dying dive, he kept the old name, and as a result, the rowdy old crowd went nowhere fast. will always be a biker bar. In addition to the rough regulars, the bar itself is positioned down a dimly lit deserted road, which discourages potential clientele. We didn't know where we were going. We when we walked like... in, there was a fight, a brawl, actually. What somebody calls. You forgot from last night, take trash out? No, just that front barrel. I yeah, don't want to do forgot. it. 
What did they order? A margarita? Margarita and a cosmopolitan. This is probably the worst Cosmo I've ever had in my whole entire life. That Cosmo looks like a glass of strawberry jam. Look at the color of that thing. <laughs> I'm sure that's how she wanted to get that Cosmo, too, is in a rocks glass. A little kick there, huh? When I order a shot of tequila, I don't drink it in a wine glass. That's right. This is seriously not good at all. These guys do not know how to pour liquor. They are selling a bunch of beer. So these are the girls that live in this area. They're sort of out of place, aren't they? Mm -hmm. These are blue-collar guys out here. Yeah. They're hanging with each other. It's almost like a man cave mm -hmm. of bars. Yeah. The chicken sandwich is good. Yeah, it's yeah, very I'll good. Yeah, I'll try that. There's Brian, our cook. He's got a good kitchen. It's in a truck. Mm -hmm. Look how clean it is. Yeah. Can you put a side of nitro sauce in one of the little cups? Sounds good. Food truck idea, that's a really cool concept right now. So, you know, it would cost probably about $150,000 to put a kitchen like that in the building. By having it in the food truck, it's really smart. It costs about $80,000 to build that, and you can take it in another place in the daytime. OK, here's the wings out of the freezer. Bam. Fries are frozen. Everything's frozen. Why isn't the server ringing the food in and then picking up the food themselves? What happens when a guy has 10 hamburgers on a grill and he has to go looking for a waitress? Everything burns? Yeah. You can't run a business like this. Why is my chicken so chewy? Of course, it's frozen. What's it take to get a beer ready? There's Randy, he's the maintenance guy. He actually lives on property. How are you girls doing? Good. How are you doing? How are you? Excuse you me. Doing? Fine. I just farted. <laughs> he's drunk, and he's going to chase your women away. Why you got has some ass? Whoa. That's the most dangerous employee of all. And look, he just ran them out of the bar. I feel like I'm going to get murdered in the parking lot. I'm just trying to talk to him and be nice. All right. And that's the guy he has working for him. That's Jeff's fault. I'm going to go drink me a few more beers, all right? See if I can throw up some more Missy, guys been sitting over there without a beer. I have no time. idea. I didn't do it. I did not. Don't tell me. They just told me you did. Does this guy understand his staff is going to cause him to lose it all? Look at what they're doing. This is ridiculous. Oh. oh. I've never seen this type of employee interaction in front of customers before. I mean, literally behind the bar. That's a joke. They're causing him to fail. Mm -hmm. We're here to stop them from failing, and it starts now. Hey, guys, let's all get together for a meeting. Pull them all together for me, Jeff. Hi, guys. Hi. You know, we haven't met, but I've been watching you guys all night. Am I bothering you? No. How about facing me? This is your staff, Jeff? I'm sorry, she does not have an attitude. What do you do here, Randy? I'm amazed. Man. How drunk are you right now? Am I drunk? You're, you're drunk, Randy. I'm drunk? Yeah. How often does Randy get drunk? Every day. Every day. How many women have Randy chased out of this building? A few. A few. So what the hell do you do here other than cost him money? He's my security in the night. He's security? Actually, he does a good job. He's the one who should be carried out. You know what? That I keep protect his You can't even talk right now. Sit the hell down. That's the epitome of irresponsibility. Randy, sit down, please, uh -huh. and I'm listen. Good. Sit down and listen. I'm good. Sit down and shut up for once. I'm shut asking you. Up. Randy, I'm asking you. Randy, I'm asking This is the problem right Stop. here. Randy, you say you bitch to these girls in my presence again, I'll knock your ass out. You kiss my ass, John. Tag your feet. Apologize! I'm having somebody talk me this way. No. Randy, you need to listen no, to him. Kiss his ass. Yeah. I'm not kissing him. Ask you to kiss his ass. I said, listen to him. He came here to help me. I'm going to lose every thing I got. Do me a favor. What would you do if Done. you owned this place? Done. I'm going to tell you what. What right would now. you do if you owned this place? I can replace you in five minutes. I'm done, Jeff. I'm not doing that. That's fine. I love you with all my heart. That's fine. Yeah, right. I love my you with all my heart. That's fine. Place. As he fucked them, right? That's fine. Is it fine, Jeff? I say you get the fuck out of here. See ya. What the damn hell's going on with this damn place? 
When you work with losers, you get a loser bar. So this is Richmond County on Staten Island. Staten Island's one of the five boroughs of New York. 73% of the homes in this area are over $600,000 a year. Population is 28,000. But here's what's interesting. It's actually an older area. The median age is 42 years old, whereas the median age of America is only 37. And then you look at the people that live in this market, and you look at that bar, complete disconnect. Absolutely. None of it comes together. You can see why they're failing right here on the street before we even go inside. So for recon tonight, you know who I got? His wife. I don't know. When I agreed to that, I wasn't watching this, pal. Call hey, your wife. I've sent my wife into work. Oh, I know you have. So the logic was, we have to send somebody in who represents the market, not the bar. It's who should be in this bar. Oh, boy. Good luck, baby. I love you. Do you want a drink left? We do not. There's Jolene. She's a bartender. What kind of wine do you have? I have no wine. No wine. No, no wine. No, no drink customer. list. These guys aren't catering to their market. They're beneath it. They need some high-end, sophisticated wines and spirits to capture their market. I can make margaritas right now. You want a Cosmo? Oh, margaritas. Perfect. Now, margaritas is the most popular drink in America. Right. If a bartender can make anything. You better be able to make a margarita. <laughs> First of all, you never shake it with the glass up. The glass can go flying and hurt somebody. We're gonna push it up against her body. She doesn't know how to separate it. Oh! So the glass that's been sitting on the bar, her hand went on it, she shook it with it, and now she's using it as a strainer. You actually can see people's facial muscles tighten from the sourness. Look, there it is. Oh! <laughs> it's two brothers that own this bar. They've owned it for 11 years. There's Steve. You can tell who Steve is. He's wearing a black shirt. There's his brother, Eric, who's in a blue shirt. Put it out. <laughs> they do well for a few years. Now, they're losing thousands of dollars a month. They're in debt 700,000, and it gets worse. Can I help you to your table? Yeah, you can just give me this. They're letting everybody destroy their lives. They're doing nothing about saving themselves. There's Stu, a third brother. Uh, oh, wrong <laughs> A lot of things in my mind, sorry. Look at this. There's a customer who just walked into the kitchen. What's that order up there? Ravioli. Ravioli, yeah. Look well, how comfortable he was walking in. You know he's walked through those doors. Of course he has. And not the first time. Oh, I had ravioli. Was it ravioli? This guy is a doormat. He's being walked all over. These guys are the biggest wimps in the world. Hey, Eric. Eric. Look at that huge do not enter sign. Do what not enter. Well, they got a pizza oven. You know, you know how many bars try to cook pizza without a pizza oven? That's an asset in a bar business. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. Low cost, high profit. There's a tank. That's Pablo. Put in the that sauce cheese? over the cheese. Have you ever seen the cheese go on before the sauce? No. The sauce is going to burn, well, and the cheese won't brown. This guy is ass backwards. Is that exposed countertop? That's the rusted freezer. That's the top of a residential top load freezer. You know how that gets like that? Somebody either sitting on it or sleeping on it. That doesn't happen. What the hell is that? <sighs> There's icicles. Is that insulation? There's what is that? Oh my God. Where do you think all that insulation is? It's in the food. And that's not wrapped up. Oh. Fiberglass is made from glass that's pulled into thin fibers. If it gets into food, it could kill somebody. It's incredibly dangerous. Fiberglass should be nowhere near food. Look at this freaking guy. Unbelievable. He's grabbing his own chicken fingers or mozzarella sticks, whatever it is, and throwing it in the fryer. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my order first, please. Poor guy. What happens if they burn themselves? They get sued for a couple million. Come on, seriously. He's working. I'm almost done. What are you making? Why don't you let him make it? Because I like making it myself. They don't care. It's a free for all. New York burgers. You don't get them nowhere else. Uh, no more meat. All the they customers took all the beef. Yeah. The other people ate everything, so it's no more. That's it. No more hamburgers. And this is not just today. This is all the time. And when I try to say something, they don't like it. They, f they think I'm the stupid. You know, it's unbelievable to me how these people walking in and out of this kitchen and cooking this food. If they can walk in the kitchen, why can't you? You probably could. Why don't you go in there and make us a pizza? You guys hungry? Yeah, go make us up. 
Can you believe what we're watching? <laughs> so he just walked right in. Look at it. Nobody says a word. Not a word. Hey, como esta? How are you, senor? Good. We could all be in there cooking. Yeah. What's your name? Pablo. Pablo? Yes. Let's make a pizza, Pablo. <sighs> Cheese goes on top of the sauce. Actually, we were hungry on the shark. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Excuse me. I'm out of your way, Pablo. I got too many up Why, why you guys bother me today? Why you, everybody freaking? Just give me a loan. Let me work. Let me do my job, please. Amazing. Never seen anything like it. OK, muchas gracias, all right? i see you later. Now, the only thing I would ever eat from this kitchen is a pizza, because it was brought up to 500 degrees, mm -hmm. and the fact is it's the only safe thing in the whole damn place. 10 minutes, you grew up. Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. I'll take a little pizza. See you later. Just walked right out with a pizza. No one said a word. Took the pan, too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys order a pizza? I made you a beautiful pizza. It's a bar rescue first. It's the first time I have ever been able to send a chef into another restaurant, walk into their kitchen, cook us a meal, and bring it out. And bring food. it out. Why do we have a slice of pizza, everybody? Come on. You know, the basic dough is OK. And the oven works like a charm. The oven was nice and hot. And he actually cleaned it out for me, Pablo. You know how many bars we'd kill for That's that oven? Cool. Yeah, I would. Mm. Can you guys just try to behave a little bit? Oh, my goodness! Are you f***ing kidding me? Stupidness. That's stupidness, all right? I expect a tough rescue. That's why I'm here. I did not expect owners that are clearly not doing anything to run their business. The whole property to me just looks like a run-down biker Coachella. But nobody bought tickets. But nobody bought tickets. <laughs> That's so gross. It looks a little yard sale meets a little, oh, let's pick this up on the side of the street. Oh, this will work there. It's very, very confusing. Look at the columns. People have just pretty much written their names wherever they want. So weird. This entire bar is filled with signatures everywhere that just sort of disrespect it. So this is sort of a bikerish type of bar. Two days a year, there are events down here. Mm -hmm. And they take over the bar those few days a year. Mm. But. If this place is perceived as a biker bar, are you going there with your wife for dinner? No, no way. So the minute we have the perception of being a biker bar, statistically, a little over 80% of women in America won't go there. Absolutely not. We have to be biker friendly. We can't be a biker bar. That's the big difference. Hi, guys. Hi. How you doing? Good. You have a uh, trick menu? We don't have the cocktail menus anymore, but we do have the star shot. That's a specialty? Yeah, that's right, actually well, my specialty. Let's go with it. Interesting name for a cocktail. I haven't seen a cocktail menu. It seems these girls make up a drink, give it a funny name like star and throw it on a board. What they need to do is have a menu where the guests can see the description. They can see what they're getting themselves into. And there's more than one drink to pick. Did you guys want to order any food? What are you guys known for? Our Philly cheesesteaks are really good. And those are actually $5 tonight. Yeah, I'm going to do the Philly. OK. And let me do the, the chicken sandwich fried. Oh, sweet. Like, really sweet. It's like a jolly bacon. Yeah, that's not very good. So that's Bob. He's your cook. Look at the color of that towel. Oh, my God. It's gray. There's a pile to the right. Oh, let me go get another dirty towel for my dirty towel stack. You see that? Ah. Oh, I don't have one. I have 100 of them. This is disgusting. OK, that looks like a piece of steak. Is it? Is that what that is? That I don't know what that is. Oh, my God. It looks like a brain. It looks like a brain. You know, it does. I'm, you guys know what that is? What is that? That's frozen Philly meat that he's beating the shit out of. To thaw it on the grill. So he sliced it from something. It's still raw. His griddle is not hot enough, by the way. Basically, you're just steaming steam. It's gray. It's not, it's not browning. No, you want Maillard. Maillard is the caramelization that comes yep. from the meats, right? He didn't clean the meat. He didn't take the sinew off the outside. And he just, there's, that guy doesn't give a That's a big old model of I don't care what I'm doing. 
Holy moly, John. Look at the size of that chicken sandwich. That thing is the size of my head. Holy crap, that's gotta be a pound, if not more. That is ridiculous. Oh. That's big. A sandwich needs to be properly proportioned. Yes. That is a chunk of chicken with bread. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I... Everybody looks at it like, how am I gonna eat this? Yeah. You might need to just like chop it in half. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's you're losing your ass on that chicken sandwich. I know yep. that needs to be a $25 sandwich. Dude, I can't I can't even get into this thing. You can't even cut it. She's holding it for him. It's taking two of them, and they still can't cut the damn sandwich. I've never seen this in my life. <laughs> it doesn't look that great. The chicken sandwich came out super large, almost unmanageable. It just doesn't translate well for good bar food. So I immediately sent it back. Oh, oh look at that. This is really greasy. Or that's like super, super greasy. Okay. Um, they said this is really greasy and gross. So I don't know if you want to talk to them about it. I'm gonna Susan's going to talk to them? I don't know. No way I'm not getting sick on that. How's it going? Don't be a dick. We just sent some food back to the kitchen. The chicken sandwich not really cooked all the way through. The cheesesteak, super greasy. Don't be a dick. What do you want? Do you want a refund on it? Or? Yeah, that would, be, um, that would be great, yeah. All right, can you just refund them on that, Susan? Wow, not even, I'm sorry. Bob? Yes? Uh, they sent this back. They said that it's too greasy. <laughs> okay. I think we're doing a shot. Okay. Like a dessert type shot. Sure. Layer it. Perfect. Oh. Are you good at layering? Ooh. Oh. And me either. Ugh. What is that? It shouldn't seep like that. It looks curdled. Yeah. Thank you. Don't do it. Something's not right. Let's go in and find out what the hell is going on. I don't know if we want to go down the hatch with that one. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Good. Where's Melanie? Melanie? Good to meet you. Come on, let's go talk in the kitchen. So, Bob put out a Philly steak between the grease from the meat and the oil from the vegetables. That's a lot of oil. Go on a sandwich that size. Is that the way you always cook them? Yeah. <laughs> Melanie, you guys are failing, not because of the weather, not because of a hurricane. You guys are failing because of things like that. I think it's just hard to have things pointed out to you that you um, didn't see coming. I'm just very tired and very emotional right now. Look at this. This is just dripping down, John. That's a stopper. Yeah, is This is what's blocking the grease. These come out with one hand and a towel, and they pop in a dishwasher and just done real quick. This gets in people's food. At the same time, when I turned around to grab a towel, I saw you, chef, using towels. I will bet my life, my house, everything that these are not clean. They've been washed. No, bull****. Sorry. They take the smell this. Fill this. I'm just saying, I know, but smell fill it. it. Fill it. Melanie, is there any way that that is clean if it smells that way? Guys, you're in a whole $800,000. So you have to change this. If you clean this place tonight, I will come back here tomorrow and fix this for you. Deal? Absolutely. Let's do this. You can do better. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.